Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of your Kansas City Royals franchise. Today, the Kansas City Royals will travel to Oakland to take on the Oakland Athletics. As you see here, pitching for the Kansas City Royals is the rookie Jace Vines making his first ever Major League start. Also, in the batting lineup is Nick Prado, the top prospect or one of the top prospects for the Kansas City Royals. He will be hitting six hole today. On the mound for the Oakland Athletics is Frankie Montas, not having a great start to the year. Uh, kind of been struggling, uh, but he gets a start today against a below average right now uh, Kansas City Royals lineup. Up first is Nicky Lopez having a pretty good year 292 in the average here's the first pitch of the game that one hit down the line foul Nicky Lopez leads the Kansas City Royals in average as here's the second pitch and that one's up the middle it will not be through what a play by the second baseman to possibly rob him of a hit, uh, but as you see here, the Royal starting lineup, Lopez, Taylor, Salvador Perez, just coming back from injury, Ryan O'Hearn, Hunter Dozier, Nick Prado in right field, the rookie, and then Whit Merrifield, Ben Attendee, and Ryan McBroom. So here he is, Jace Vines making his first major league start, the six foot three, 215 uh, pound, 25 year old. And the first pitch, he will ever throw is going to be to Josh Harrison. So here is the first pitch of the Major League career. It is fouled away from Josh Harrison. Here is the 1 0. Oh, or 1. Excuse me. Low ball. 1 1 2 Harrison. Taken. Two balls, one strike. 2 1 here. So that one fouled away. Vines throws four pitches as here's the 2 2 strike three. So the first major league batter he faces ends in a strikeout. 1 0 2 Olsen. As that one's up the middle and it gets by Nicky Lopez. The throw coming to third is not in time. So the Athletics have first and third with only one away. 3-2 to Davis. Strike three. Jace finds with another big strikeout as they're now two away. 1-1 one, one to Canna. He breaks, or not breaks his bat, but almost breaks his bat as he gets sawed off. But that will end the first inning. No runs allowed from Jace Vines. So here he is, Nick Prado making his first major league at bat. He was hitting over 300 in AAA before this, as here's the first pitch. He turns on that one up the middle, and Nick Prado has a nice first swing and a first hit of his major league career. As you see there, the first hit of Nick Prado's career. Wearing number 11 right now as the ball will be taken into the dugout for safekeeping. 0-2 count with two away. Here's the pitch from Montas. Checks his swing. The throw to second. Cannot get Lopez. He's in with his ninth stolen base of the year. Lopez gets his leadoff second. Here's the pitch. And strike three, so the stolen base won't come back to bite them. Here is Mark Canna. That one, deep left field, going back, and gone. That one is gone to left field. Mark Canna's fourth on the year, as he gives the A's a one to nothing lead. Here's Matt Chapman as he watches that one go by. A one count. That one stung to the gap and it gets down. Taylor chasing after it. He'll relay it in. 
Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Matt Chapman with an RBI double. Here is Nick Prado once again in the top of the fifth inning. And here's the pitch. That one hit well to left center. That one gets down. Nick Prado will be on again as he will hold up at second base. A single and a double for Nick Prado. So here is Andrew Benatendi with one away. And here is the pitch. That one hit well to right center and over Josh Harrison's head. Prado will round third. And Benatendi going to third and he's thrown out. A uh, bang bang play. But they will call him out. Let's watch it again. As can't really tell, but the out is the call. So the first batter to hit is Hunter Dozier here in the seventh. Here's the pitch. That one is gone. Hunter Dozier way out to left field. As that's a nice start to the seventh inning. Hunter Dozier's tenth on the year. 410 feet off Montas. Well, in comes Greg Holland from the bullpen, having maybe the best year of any of the Kansas City relievers. Here is Josh Harrison. That one hit, and it will get down. Prado, the throw to third, is not quite in time. Here is Tony Kemp, the pitch. That one, this is just outside. 1 0 to Kemp. As they try the suicide squeeze. 1 1 to Kemp. As he swings at that and it hits him. What an odd at bat here. Here's the 1 2 to Kemp. Strike three. So, an interesting at bat there from Kemp as there's now two away. Here is Matt Olson. And that one oh blown by him. 3-1 the pitch. That one crushed. Everyone knows it. They're going to watch it leave Matt Olson with a three-run shot. Holy Toledo is right. So the last out of the game possibly comes down to Nick Prado. Against the lefty. The two away. That one ripped foul. So full count with two away to Nick Prado. That one hit well to left field. Going back, but caught. And that will end the game. The Athletics win 6-2. to two. So here was the draft class for the Kansas City Royals this year. The first pick with the seventh overall pick was Daryl Ryan. But Daryl Ryan was the first pick. Um, and I'm honestly really happy with it. A good power hitting third baseman, only 18 years old. Uh, the only problem... The defense is bad. Uh, Von Fisk, uh, kind of a similar thing. Maybe a little bit better defense, more speed, but not just, just not quite as good of a hitter. So uh, that is the draft class, but I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.